Oh boy, ladies and gentlemen, it's day three of the Tesla Robotaxi launch in Austin, Texas, and things are getting really heated. Check out this headline from Reuters stating that Tesla's Robotaxi peppered with driving mistakes in Texas tests. Now that is an interesting headline, isn't it? Peppered? Peppered with mistakes? What does peppered actually mean? It's just a sprinkling of mistakes, right? Well, I can understand a little bit of what's going on here. Number one, there is a mainstream narrative for some reason. Actually, no, I know the reason. There is a mainstream narrative to, to portray the Texas Robotaxi as ultimately unsafe and unfit for public roads. Now, this is happening for many reasons, but one of the main reasons is that when this Tesla Robotaxi service does go mainstream, there is a major disruption of all of the industries that have been in place since the beginning of time. Now, videos like this don't really help Tesla Robotaxi. Now, here's the thing. This is strictly optics, right? The Tesla rollout, again, was a small rollout of 10 to 20 Tesla Robotaxis, each equipped with a passenger supervisor appointed by Tesla, right? There was, again, there is no driver in the driver's seat, so the car is driverless. Now, this video is, is an actual critical intervention, right? It portrays a critical intervention which may have resulted in, a, in an accident at a very low speed, also known as a fender bender, right? So let's watch the video and let's see what happened. Oh, we got an interesting situation. Okay, the UPS car is coming very, very close to us. Okay, all right. That's bad, folks. That's bad. Now, let's analyze exactly what happened here. All right, here we go. All right, so it looks like the Tesla Robo Taxi is indicating to get into this parking spot right here, but hold on a second. The supervisor immediately aborted the mission here as the supervisor realized that the UPS truck, as you can see right here, is actually reversing into the parking spot that the Tesla was indicating that it would take, right? Now, as you can see here, the two reverse lights are on and the, tes and, and the UPS truck is moving backwards towards the Tesla, right? Oh, yeah. And the Tesla did not realize this. The Tesla Robotaxi did not, did not realize this. Now, before I say anything else, right, I want Tesla to succeed. I am a, an owner of a Tesla vehicle myself, and I use full self-driving supervised every single day. It has revolutionized the way I drive my vehicle or the way the vehicle drives me while I supervise. I am now delegating the mundane task of driving to a to an intelligent Tesla AI, and I am simply supervising it. It's not perfect. I've had to intervene plenty of times, but I know it's not perfect, right? So the expectation is, is that I supervise the vehicle as it self-drives, knowing that it's not perfect and knowing that I may have to intervene at times, right? Now, the thing here with the, with the robotaxi is, and if we are headed toward a fully autonomous driving experience, the software, the intelligence, the AI, it needs to be perfect, right? Things like this cannot happen. Now, of course, the UPS driver here, the truck is backing up without slowing down. I mean, does the UPS driver not see the Tesla vehicle in the back here? Is he looking at his cameras? What's going on here? Why is he continuing to reverse back in this direction, knowing that there's a vehicle coming in and uh, also appearing at first to not slow down or stop for his truck, right? So the human should have used better discretion here and actually slowed down the vehicle or come to a stop and gestured in a humane way, hey, what's going on? That's my spot, I had it first or whatever, whatever the case is. That's how an interaction between two civilized human beings, now, I mean, of course, they can go the other direction and th there could be a road rage incident, right? But between two civilized human beings, there would be some form of communication and 
whoever was second to that spot would say normally, hey, my bad, you know, it's all yours. I'm going to go in, you know, I'm going to circle the block one more time, right? However, however, since this is a driverless robo taxi, right, and we are now headed toward a, um, a, a fully autonomous driving taxi now, right, from Tesla, these kinds of things, it doesn't matter whose fault it is. It simply cannot happen, right? It doesn't matter whether the human driver is at fault. If there is an accident, if there is a fender bender here, it will always be blamed on the autonomous vehicle rather than the human vehicle because the autonomous vehicle is supposed to be perfect. That is the threshold for autonomous driving, right? Unfairly, Tesla gets a lot of this negative publicity, unfairly, when there are plenty of other incidents where the other autonomous vehicles, not of Tesla's in nature, and which I won't name, they've also experienced plenty of plenty of critical incidents far worse than this and still continue to experience those incidents. However, unfortunately, there is a, there is a mainstream narrative attack on Tesla and it's being blown out of proportion. However, I'm just telling you the truth now. This is not a good thing, right? And this actually needs to be fixed because this is a critical a critical inter intervention where an accident, where there's a likelihood of an accident actually occurring here, right? And again, it doesn't matter who's at fault here. The robo taxi needs to be perfect. It needs to realize that the that the that there is a truck in front. Number one, number two, that truck is coming closer to the vehicle without any indication of yielding, slowing down, or stopping. And number three, the reverse lights are on. All of those things combined should indicate to the Tesla AI that is in charge of this robo taxi, right? It should indicate that that spot or that location no longer is either available or safe enough to get into. And immediately, this is where the AI should excel. It should be it should be many, many times more responsive than, than the human brain, right? It should be many, many times quicker in assessing the situation unfolding before its eyes and reacting to it better than a human being. This is why we're going autonomous. Otherwise, we could just have a human being drive the car. And, you know, in a, in a dynamic situation, the human being would be proven to be a better driver. But that's simply not the case, right? The data shows already supervised full self-driving as it is, is already many times safer than human beings. This is just another learning experience. Again, this is only day three of the Tesla RoboTaxi launch. And we should expect plenty more of these minor mistakes to happen before the software is ironed out and perfected. However, perfection is the threshold. We cannot go fully autonomous unless the software is perfected. Now, Again, this is not necessarily a negative thing. However, it's being shown as a negative thing. And it's just, it's just unfair, in my opinion, that, that um, videos like this are being really blown out of proportion. But I do agree, however, that this does need to be fixed and that this is not a good thing to have in the software. I want the Tesla software, the Tesla self-driving software, and the AI in charge of it to be perfect, where it is performing and reacting better and faster than human beings. So in an ideal situation, this Tesla RoboTaxi should have immediately realized what's going on here. The truck is backing up. It's not slowing down. It's not stopping. And there is a high likelihood of collision. Boom. Stop where you're at. Turn your hazards on. Make sure the rear is safe or whatever. Go in any safe direction away from this location and this vehicle. Reverse. Or at least just come to a complete stop. Right? Or, or blow the horn. Right? Blow the horn. Now, in contrast to this negativity, let's see some positives that were actually seen during the Tesla RoboTaxi rides by the influencers, right? Here we go. Here we see the Tesla RoboTaxi encountering a peacock crossing the road. Let's see how it reacts. As you can see, here's a peacock and it stops, slows down the peacock. Crosses the road. Crosses the road. I mean, it doesn't happen over here in the Northeast. But I'm guessing down there in Texas, they got their peacocks out cro crossing the roads, right? 
Here's another one. Now, this one is actually executed perfectly, right? This is the Tesla Robotaxi on an intersection. There is a bigger truck coming in, making this turn. However, it cannot make it, right? And the Tesla gives way to the truck. It gives way to the truck by turning a little bit to the right so that the truck can pass. This is a perfectly executed maneuver and it is exactly what a human being would do. So bravo. Anyway, guys, I just wanted to clarify um, some of the negative uh, videos going around. And again, these are all learning experiences. The only place where the Tesla Robotaxi and its AI will go is up from here. Each day, that, that software is the worst version of that software it will ever be. Every single day, every single ride, it improves. The Tesla AI already has billions of miles under its belt. And it's, it's coming, folks. I have full faith that the Tesla Robotaxi um, service and the full self-driving suite for consumers are going to be perfected before the end of the year. That's my prediction and that's my opinion. And the crazy part is once full self-driving is perfected at the Robotaxi level, right? So once these Robotaxis actually go out now and they're available to the public in, in the Austin area or whatever small area they want to try out first, whatever software that those Robotaxis are using, the version of full self-driving, it will immediately be transferred over to the consumers who have their own Tesla vehicles on their full self-driving software via an update overnight. Every single Tesla then will be capable of full self-driving. This is the future and the future is now. Anyway, guys, I just want to clarify that. If you like what you saw, give me a like, share, and, and, and subscribe. If you agree with me or disagree with me, please leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about, about that UPS truck um, backup situation. I want to, I want to hear what you, what you have to say about that. And uh, I hope you guys have a nice day.